this. Today we have eight variations of a hinge, eight variations of a hinge. Okay, so a hinge is not a squat. A hinge is not a squat, it is a karate chop or a drive with your hips right back and your chest is nice and proud. That's a hinge. Okay, so we'll be doing eight different types of variations today. So first variation is going to be your basic double hand swing, your basic double hand swing. Okay, so we're gonna do eight repetitions of that. So chest is up, shoulders back and down, abs are tight, okay? Uh, with the shoulders back and down, roll them back, tuck them into your back pockets, okay? You're gonna pop the hips back and up. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, we just really tight the top, seven, eight. That's it. So, one kettlebell here, I'm gonna show you, chest is up, roll the shoulders back and down, okay? Grip really tight through the feet, soft bend in the knees, just pushing them out slightly, coming past the knees with your chest nice and proud, feel that stretch in your hamstrings and butt, come back up, squeeze, that's one, two, three, four, five, six, Seven and eight. Variation number three of your eighth day of fitness is single leg good mornings or single leg deadlifts. You can do this with or without a weight depending on your balance, okay? When I hinge position, so you can grip really tight. You're going to do eight on the left, eight on the right. So chest is proud, shoulders back and down, hinging. One, two, this one, my ankle, I've had injuries on my left ankle, sprained it and imbalanced. So it's always a lot more focus on that left side. Three, four, Five, six, seven. Soft bend on that knee for a little more stability. Eight, and then opposite side. So on the right side, it's much stronger for me. Okay, grip really tight through that foot. Soft bend, hinge in the hip, not bend in the knee. You'll have a soft bend in your knee to help balance the stability and get yourself closer to the floor. But it's only a soft bend, it's not a deep bend. Here, and here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. is Romanian deficit. So, or deadlift deficits, meaning you're going to go a little further than your muscles would normally allow when you're standing from a regular ground position. So I have a little bit of an elevation here to create a deficit for the weight to touch the floor, then come back up, okay? So you get that nice deep stretch in your hamstrings. Um, and then your tush, because it's all about the booty. Well, it's not fully all about the booty, but your booty is the biggest muscle group in your body. So you want to work that a little bit more and it supports everything else and it helps offset a lot of imbalances that can occur in the body. So anyways, okay, back to the eighth day of fitness, okay? Deadlift de deficit, so chest up, shoulders back and down, nice deep stretch in the hamstring, heels, ideally shoulder width apart, coming back up, one, touching back down, a little bit of stretch, Two, squeeze really tight at the top. Three, four, five, six, seven, and gently touching down on the floor. Eight. But if you're in a so basic good mornings, just like a single leg good mornings, but you've got two. Chest is ahead, shoulders are back and down, okay? You know, weights up on your shoulders um, or on your back. I'll show you with a stick. When 
have a weight up on your back. I do have a barbell, but right now, everybody I'm pretty sure has got a stick in the house. You're gonna bring it up on your shoulders. Shoulders are back and down, toes are straight ahead. Okay, in alignment with the hips. Chest is proud, squeeze really tight at the top. You're just gonna drive your hips, keeping your back nice and flat from the base of your spine, middle of your spine to your lower spine, your lower erector spine A or your coccyx, your lower backbone. Okay, coming right forward, squeeze. That's one, tight at the top. Two, squeezing, contract everything tight from the ground up. Three, as tight as you can in the center of your body. Four, five, nice long spine. Six, always looking slightly ahead towards the horizon. Seven, eight. Number six of the hinge position is your toes are still gonna be ahead, but we're gonna hinge, okay? So in the 12th, when we first started, it was 12 days of fitness, we did sumo squats, but we were bending in the knees. The difference with a, a squat and a deadlift is it's a hinge, and in a squat, it's a little more, a lot more knee dominant, okay? Quad dominant. Hinge is butt, glutes, hamstring dominant. So we're gonna do uh, sumo deadlifts. I'm gonna start with the weight in the middle here from the bottom, hinging, toes are slightly turned out, so you get a little bit more glutinous, minimus inside of your glutes there, in the back of your glutes, okay? And palms can be, um, what do you call it, pronated, palms forwards, shoulders back and down, squeezing really tight at the top again. One, touching down lightly with the weight. Two, hinge, push those hips right back. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, that's variation number seven, sumo deadlifts. Okay. Variation number eight, Okay, variation number seven is alternating swings, alternating swings. So at the top, we have our double hand swings at the beginning. Now, with these alternating swings at the top of your swing, you're gonna switch your hand position, switch your hand position. So you come down, other hand swings right by your hips, down, okay, till you get to eight. And the shoulders back and down. One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight. Good. And then for variation number eight, for the eight days of fitness, variation number eight of the eighth day of fitness, you're going to do double, double kettlebell swings. Double kettlebell, double kettlebell swings. So you got two kettlebells, hands are neutral, palms are neutral, facing each other, shoulders are back and down. Okay, abs are tight. Eight swings. One, two, three, really pop those hips. Four, five, squeeze the glutes. 